So the gravel bike sector has really exploded in the last few years, and there's an increasing range of choice from speed focused fat tired road bikes, essentially at one end of the spectrum, and then glorified drop bar mountain bikes at the other, and lots in between as well. Now, if you like going fast on road and off road, then a brand new Pearson on and on might just be the bike for you. You might have seen this bike already on the channel in my review of the classified power shift system here. But since I've had the bike for several weeks, I thought I'd give you a taste of how it rides on and off roads on my local trails here in the Cotswolds. So let's dive in. This Pearson definitely lives up to its name. It goes on and on as fast as you like and definitely falls into the fast all-road light gravel category of gravel bike, a bit like the Villiers Rave SLR as an example. For the roadie wanting a fast gravel bike that feels fairly similar to their road race bike and isn't coming from a mountain bike background, well, you'll be right at home on a bike. Got quite an aggressive position, very racy setup, and on the road or smooth gravel, especially with the Pirelli tires, the bike absolutely whips along at high speed. No delay, no hesitation, low stiffness from the frame, a really dynamic, really exciting, and a really fast bike. As you can probably tell, Pearson has clearly used its road bikes as a starting point for its new gravel bike. And if you have some slick tires on it, you could mistake it for a road bike. So we have a very sleek aero optimized frame, the aero shaped down tube, the full internal cable routing with their own stem and aero handlebar, a D-shaped aero seat post, drop rear stays, all the features you'd expect on a modern speed focused road bike. But then to ensure it's capable off-road, we have lots of tire clearance, so you can fit up to a 45 millimeter wide tire. But then as you can see, we have lots of mountain points for mud guards. You can fit a dynamo as well for long adventures where you don't want any batteries to slow you down. Top tube mount, mounts on the fork as well. So lots of options for bike packing and that sort of riding. But I definitely will stay away from a really chunky bike packing gravel route to something faster where the gravel is smoother because the comfort isn't super high. I've got these tires running really low, 25 to 28 psi. And it's still quite a, a hard riding bike. It's not quite as hard and firm and uncompromising as the Villiers Rave SLR or the 3T Exploro Race Max, but definitely not the comfiest gravel bike I've tried. There are smoother bikes if comfort is something you want, but if you want speed for blasting along roads or gravel, then Pearson have produced a bike that lives up to its name. It looks fast and it definitely is fast. And the prices for builds are pretty reasonable. They start with a Shimano GRX 800 mechanical group set from just three and a half thousand pounds here in the UK, which is a pretty competitive price point, it has to be said. This actual build here with the classified rear hub and their own carbon wheels and a rotor one by chain set will set you back for six and a half thousand pounds. But I think that entry price point is a really compelling price point and does compete well with other bigger, more mainstream brands in this space. It's certainly a lot cheaper than that Villiers Rave SLR I'm currently reviewing. And that bike is actually quite a good comparison for this one here because they are both speed focused bikes they really try to appeal to the road cyclist who loves aero and going fast and Strava KOM is an average speed, but wants something to indulge this trend of going off-road through the woods and exploring gravel tracks and byways and much more. When you ride gravel bikes, you find all sorts of trails. This, an old road. Now no longer open to traffic, but a great little shortcut cuts out a real corner and a bit of a hill. So great little track, and that's what I love about gravel bikes. Piecing together road and off-road, all the good bits, staying away from busy roads and angry motorists, and just out here in the countryside. And you can go much further and faster than a mountain bike. It's a lot of fun. And this new Pearson on and on gravel bike is seriously rapid. It's a really fast, race-focused gravel bike. Aero-shaped tubes, very aggressive ride position. Feels like a, a fat tire road bike, really. But yeah, really fast, if that's your thing. 
So let's wrap up this review, give them likes and dislikes, and my verdict, and whether you should rush out and buy this new Pearson on and on gravel bike. And I think based on all the gravel bikes I've ridden over the last few years, and I have ridden lots and lots, for me, this is definitely more of an all road bike than a gravel bike for conquering the most extreme gnarly terrain you can care to find. Even with these tires fitted, it's fast on the road and the aggressive position and the aero optimized frame ensures it's a rapid bike on the road. And for doing smooth gravel, byways and bridleways where it's not too technical, the bike carries that speed very well. But if you try and push the limits of a gravel bike, as you can do with more mountain bike inspired gravel bikes like BMC Earth LT or anything with suspension like a specialized diverge, you'll soon find yourselves a bit out of your depth and comfort zone because the comfort on this bike when dealing with very rocky or rooty terrain isn't really there. It's a stiff, fast, speed focused gravel bike for the road cyclist who wants a bit of off road but doesn't want to really do the mountain bike style terrain that you can do on an increasing number of gravel bikes. That then is my assessment of how the bike rides and performs and where it fits in the increasingly fast range of gravel bikes available right now. And then you bring the price. For three and a half thousand pounds starting and six and a half with this game changing classified power shift system, it is a really competitive value for money offering that competes with bigger, more established bike brands. And they have a shop in London, you can go and visit them get a bike fit, have a nice bit of customer service and walk away with a bike right there and then as well. So lots of reasons to choose this, perhaps over other offerings in this space. If the on and on sounds like your cup of tea, then do be sure to check out their Pearson Cycle website at the link down below. But if it's not floating your boat, then check out some of my other gravel bike reviews right here. And don't forget to subscribe by hitting this button down here. But that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all again very soon.